it's possible this huge surplus of possible computation capacity or quantized level capacity is actually associated with a geometry change. And there's a possibility that with every kind of geometry change, information density or possibility changes vastly, changes epochally. Here we see a very obvious geometric transformation from a sphere to a torus, or a torus to a sphere. Yet I've read that the surface of a torus can be mappable with seven colors, whereas the surface of a sphere has a different mappability. Thus, the transformation of a mathematical description from something like NP-complete to NP-non-complete may be happening vast numbers of times even at uh, precisely described quantized systems. I don't actually remember how all this works. Uh, I think Stephen Hawking created some kind of wonderful equations that were the first to adequately describe uh, the change of possible uh, information meaning uh, at a gravitational singularity because that uh, possibility of information had to be accounted for with the uh, previous model of physics. So what I'm saying here is that uh, how is it that the atomic transformation of just one atom can create vast epical billions and trillions and quadrillions more quantized possible moments uh, going with either direction of a proton added or removed, as well as changing uh, the geometrical description of something from NP-complete to NP-non-complete on a continuous basis. Where does all that information go? And can equations that describe that be used to create new technologies? 